Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post and you join me here once again in Transport Fever 2, overlooking the rather busy station in sort of South Bristol of Bedminster. Yeah, with bus and tram stops either side and passengers full of wait, well, <laughs> well, platforms full of waiting passengers. I'm not quite sure what the passengers are full of. But yeah, we are expecting a train turning up quite soon. Uh, to kick off this episode, uh, just up bef but uh, as usual, what I want to do first off. Oh, I wasn't expecting this one, but this is an important train that's coming in. Well, this is a very old looking bus. Let's pause this for a second. And in fact, let's bring back the UI, shall we? So I can see what we're doing. How old are you? 22. And how well is your route doing? Wow, you're making money. That's impressive. Okay, I hadn't planned to look at buses today, um, and I might do that, but more than likely I might do that off camera if you don't mind. Uh, yeah, because there's a lot of buses. It's a big map with lots of towns, and as you can see, lots of people. Right, now the train I was actually waiting for is this one coming up here, Train 79 on Bristol South Rail Service, which goes from Temple Mead down to Weston, but it's the All Station Service which calls in at uh, Parsons Street and Yatton and Whirl and all the other place names I'm likely to have forgotten, uh, interleaving with the, the Bristol Western Express service, which hits all the high spots of Nailsy and Backwell, Western Supermare and on to Highbridge, again starting out from Bristol Temple Mead. Why have we started here? Because I have changed some of the lines up. We were making a lot of money in the last episode and we'll come to that in a moment. So I've been able to afford to upgrade all the lines on the Bristol South, all the trains rather, on Bristol South Rail. So we've now got these rather lovely, they're 150s, they are 150s here in the appropriate first great Western livery. Looking very smart indeed. Uh, I've also actually added another uh, train to that. Uh, one, two, three. I've got five now, isn't it? So, yeah, because there are, as you can see, loads of people waiting. And it is often quite evenly split between the... Okay, <laughs> why do I say things when I know full well that as soon as we check the data, the game will contradict me? Yeah, so there are not a lot of people waiting for the Western Express service. <laughs> Uh, because, presumably, because there are more of these uh, all station services. And, uh, yeah, they go to more places, obviously. So that's what's going on there. So we've put more on there. I've also upgraded the Bristol North Line, which we saw, I think, in passing in the last episode. Because uh, this was a steam service, if I remember correctly. When we were messing around here in Bristol Park, near Bristol Parkway and doing the Pilning Isle uh, oil route, the crude oil route, which we'll look at again in a moment. So I've got, what, what are these? These these are a quite different train. Uh, no, it's not that one, it's this one. It's this one down, down here. The, the, that train is the same. So this is the 151, a quite a different looking beast. Um, and it's in a regional railways livery. So I don't think Presumably there wasn't one for the first or Great Western. Uh, and that is, again, doing very nice business. It's uh, not a huge route. It goes out to the outskirts of Bristol, to um, to Pilning, to Seven Beach. Actually, does it go to Seven Beach? I'm not sure it does. No, sorry, it doesn't. It goes to Pilning High Level through uh, Almondsbury and Patchway. So again, a nice sort of suburban kind of route, if you will. And that also is doing quite nice business. Yes, it's not huge amounts of money, but it links into the main services which go through Parkway. And the other one which I upgraded uh, just uh, after the last episode is the Seven Beach Line, which was a wonderful old steam route which takes you out from Bristol Temple Meads through Clifton to Shirehampton, uh, past Avonmouth and on to Seven Beach, as you can see there. Uh, quite a long windy route and it has it is quite busy it earns quite a nice amount of money and again we've got the 150s on that yeah the 150s so that's all doing very nicely indeed uh just to, to cap to, to cap off this uh, introductory section with a mention of that oil route 
We created in the last episode a cross estuary oil route, taking oil from Wales, this is crude oil, from Wales across the water by tanker here to Avonmouth docks uh, to then be picked up by the trains to be sent into our North Bristol fuel system here. And this may need to upgrade because we weren't getting enough crude oil to go into the refinery here to sort of really cope with the demand that we're getting. So we're doing that now by shipping lots and lots of oil from here. And these, this train, I did actually just truncate it. It was carrying 135, 135 units of oil, whatever that unit might be, uh, up to Pilning. And it's only just sort of started sort of making money. Um, with its first full delivery, to be honest. But I have, because the boats coming in carry 240. So, that, yes, as you can see there, there's a lot of crude oil to be taken. So I've added another train into that service, which is this one here. Uh, oh, and you're just pulling in. That's nice. Yeah, unfortunately, I haven't timed them very well. So this one's come back and this one's just about to go out. But it's going to take the whole 120. Hopefully those two trains will cope with the oil that we're getting shipped around. And I dare say I will need to come back here to look at the trucks we've got delivering the refined oil into the fuel factory. Okay, so what are the, what's the plan for today then, Stan? Uh, we're going to continue with a couple more route enhancements. Uh, this, this map is getting so busy. The other service, I'm, there's, a, this, uh, there's two other services I really want to folk to start with at least. One is the one that we saw pulling in just now into Bedminster, which is this quite old service, which goes from Parkway, so it goes from Bedminster to Parkway, although it's set the other way around here, because Parkway, of course, is the major station. Uh, and that is, that is basically full. It makes a nice amount of money, but it is full. And as you can see here, there's not that many people. Okay, right, and it only goes to two places, I think, this particular service. It goes right through the city. Oh no, it does stop in Clifton. It does stop in Clifton. Oh, and there are quite a few people there using it. And that connects then up to Parkway here to connect into all the larger mainline services. Now, this is not only quite an old service, but as I discovered when I was looking at it uh, just prior to Right to starting this episode. These are quite slow trains. Uh, where are they? 65 miles an hour. That's, that's no good, is it? Really? No, we need to improve this. There is the demand for that. So what we're going to do, we're going to first off upgrade this. And I think this is one of the few electrified lines I've got on the network. We're going to upgrade this. And we're going to go, we should have some nice electrical multiple units. What have we got in terms of fast? I'd like something faster than 65. Get it in that order. Okay, not a TGV. Ooh, for 321. You go 100. 87 actually is faster than 65. I'd like to keep it electric. What about this one? Well, you're not quite as powerful, and you don't cost me anywhere near as much to run. How much do you cost me to run a year? 1.2. So this is kind of doubling the cost. Although it is okay, it's, it's Network South Southeast Angli Anglia Electrics. But to be honest, yeah. Okay, I'm not playing faithful to the area, am I? So let's let's do that. Let's uh, put you in there. And I can replace both of you for 25 million, more or less. And there you are changed. I want to look at the, I want to see the other one though. Where's Bedminster? Bedminster's out here because I want to see you. Uh, I'm totally lost again. <laughs> totally. I'm always getting lost on this map. There's Bedminster. So where's, there he is. Again, a lovely looking model. Excellent. Right, so we'll see how those bed down. They are significantly increasing my cost, but they're going faster. But I'm not quite sure how fast they will actually be able to get on this mostly 
urban line. As you can see, it cuts across the city here before getting to Clifton Down and then out again through more city. It really is a, a city service. So we'll keep an eye on you. And the other one I wanted to do is the express service from Bristol Temple Mead, which we mentioned earlier, going down to Western and so on. So as you can see, it's a very busy service. It's earning a fair amount of money, six and a half million. Yeah, that's fine. These trains are quite old. They're going uh, 95 miles an hour. And they carry 105 each. Can we replace them with something even bigger and better? Let's have a look. Again, these are going to be diesel bottle, bottle unit, perhaps. Uh, so carrying 105, you carry... Yeah, this is the trouble with the built-in mod, isn't it? They, they, this, the capacity is so much larger. And you cost me 37 million each. I don't think I could... Rep oh, could I replace all three, actually? Not quite. I'm six million short. Okay. Uh, yeah, because it's all one unit. I can't do it that way. And I'll build this one myself, shall I? So a diesel. And what have we got at the top speed? We've got you guys here. We don't have. We don't really have a first jet, do we? Okay. Let's use the the BR Blue forward rather rather than the Intercity. I think we used the Intercity previously. And the cargo wagon, uh, the cargo wagons, the passenger wagons, and you are going 148. So we could use these. I want something I'd like something in a first livery, to be honest. Yeah, uh, slap. Well, that's the sleeper. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. So we could mix them up, couldn't we? Got that. Have we got anything else? Are we all the GWR. Uh, it's 1989. I don't. Are we GWR yet? I don't think we are. We'll go with this one. I think. Uh, we'll add one, two, three, four, five of you. Then, of course, we want a train on the a, a loco on the back. So we'll want the reverse of you. Okay, that's good. And I can replace... Oh, I can afford this with 20 million left in the in me, in me pocket. That's good. Should we replace one of these with the other wagon? So it was... Uh, the, or buffet car. Yes. Stick you in. There you go. And we'll, sh we'll move you... You look consistent, I think. Yeah, I think so. Okay, let's replace all those. And where is this train at the moment? Oh, stopped at a signal. <laughs> I really perhaps ought to electrify the signals on this line. Why are you waiting there? Which direction are you going? going to Western down there? Are you? Oh, there were. Oh, heck, there were two of you in <laughs> one. Ouch. That looks painful. So, uh, have we got another one? I'd like to see one moving, ideally. Oh, he is moving now. That's fine. And he does sound like a 125. Yeah, I think that livery looks fabulous too. Those are three two ones doing. They're doing nicely. Good. Okay, so those are the two main things I wanted to get out of the way today in terms of train replacements. Now, another thing I wanted to do uh, it's been been bugging us for a while, and it's this uh, this there's a line here which connects uh, Avonmouth. Uh, there we are, Avonmouth through to Hanham, which is here. So if we bring the Hanham station up, 
no that's you've clicked on Hanum itself there you go it's this route here which goes from Hanum all the way through the sort of suburban areas of sort of North Bristol uh, or it goes to French Aid. well that's right and there's a separate route which goes on to Avonmouth yeah we did split that up didn't we so actually how well are those two services doing probably both doing yeah quite badly you've only got one train on there that's interesting is there nobody at these stations yeah the problem with Avonmouth I think is yeah there are lots of other routes to go from Avonmouth into Bristol and elsewhere so it's not yeah particularly busy which is a bit of a an annoyance let's put it that way uh, whereas the French aid Hannum route is losing even more money with having more trains but as you can see the trains are kind of full but as we've seen before it is mostly in one direction so that kind of the, uh, it does kind of get in the way so what I was thinking was is introduce a, a few more rail destinations here and what I was thinking of doing was connecting Puckle Church up. We've done Puckle Church by bus service into Warmley and also into Emerson's Green, I think it was. Yeah, to Emerson's Green, that route there. So that connects to the train station there in, uh, in Emerson's Green for well, that sort of proper North Bristol into the country. But what I was thinking was if we create small little routes from Puckle Church uh, to Warmley and also to Hannum and actually then short circuit this one going from French A to Hannum. That might work. I, this is all sort of just me trying to struggling to find a way of getting this to work basically. So if we're going to go to Warmley, it's a very short route isn't it from there and to Hannum. Will that work? Will that work? What we could do, I don't really want, because we've only got two platforms here at Hannum, and we've already got three services using them. One which goes out towards Bath, which is the Oldfield Park one, uh, and the other which goes into Temple Mead, which is obviously the, the busy bee of that. Oh, actually, these trains could do with an upgrade. Let's have a look at that. Can we afford to upgrade those guys? Uh, what are you at the moment? Let's get you out of the way. So you're, you're quite old. 110s or 104s? 104s. Going at 78, carry, it's going at 70, carrying 58. Okay. Again, this is going to be diesels. And what have we got here? First. Ah, you carry 30, though. Kind of a rail bus. I don't want a rail bus, I want something bigger and faster. Uh, you go 75, you carry 62, that's a bit more. You might work. Do I, do I have a, a local lines livery? That looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, these 143s are just tiny little trains. Going, going quite fast, but yes, tiny. I, don't, I could put two or three together. Actually, would that work? That give me 1.5 in cost, as opposed to. No, this is a more efficient way of doing it. I think. Okay, so we will replace you with that. That only cost me just over 10 million. Okay, job done. We look like quite a nice train, actually, don't you? As a as a consumer, as a passenger. Actually, have I got the same trains here on the French A route? Probably have. 150. And you were the... Uh, I've forgotten already. The 150? Oh, they are the same. Good. <laughs> All kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Uh, right, so, yes, yeah, so I don't want another service going into Hannum if I can help it. So what we might do, so you're going from Hannum to 
warmly, which is up there. I think, yes, if we just go, in fact, from Warmly to Puckle Church. How is that going to work? That's an odd arrangement. You'd be going out and then coming back in. I think what we may need to do is reset this line. Uh, is there anything beyond Puckle Church? Not really. We could make Puckle Church a terminal station, couldn't we? Right. Let's do that. That's going to be our plan. So what do we have in terms of buildings in Puckle Church? What's our land distribution? Okay, we could sit it here. Although if we sat it actually north of Puckle Church up here. Or here. If we sat it here, we could potentially make it a through station going out in its own right up there. But I'm not sure we need to do that because we've got other services. Okay, let's have a look then at doing that. How would that work? Can we fit a station in there? Don't want roads. Oh, I've got lots. Oh, I've, oh heck, I put lots of <laughs> new road mods on. I've also put some new um, rail mods on as well, particularly for uh, for stations. But, oh dear, yes I have, haven't I? Which I don't play with before I do these recordings, which I really ought to do. <laughs> so, so what can we have here? You know, I think I will make it a through station. Right, what do we have? We've got... Uh, you're quite... Quite big. No, we don't... Oh, I could do underground stations. I need to play with those, actually. UK, UK style. Okay. You do look a bit modern, don't you, for a little place like, like Puckle Church. Uh, and you are... Again, you look a little bit grand. What have we got here? Your modern buildings. That's the, that's the thing I've got with this. But nonetheless... We can could, could always take the building off, can't we? Yes, we can. Right, so we'll put this in here. So we need to spin you around a bit. Around the other way. That will do. So we can put you in along here. And we've got a bus stop there already. Shall I do... What we'll do, we'll put a little bit of road in there. A little bit of road. Uh, oh, there's, there's two... Oh, well, no. <laughs> Too many road choices. No. Uh, well, you're a nice looking bit of road. If we Can I put you in... I can put you in there. That's good. So if we put you in there, we'll delete one building, but you are quite close to the bus stop, which is what I want it to be. Yeah, that is a bus stop, definitely. Uh, so that works for me. And then we can attach the train station to that, I think. Okay. Don't need to be too long here, to be honest. Uh, we'll get put two platforms on. Just it. No, we won't. We'll put one platform on. If we need a second one, we we will take it. So if we put you somewhere like that, spin you around a little bit, and we can probably put a building on the side there. I'm thinking. Yeah. So let's get rid of this. Let's configure this. We will get rid of that building there. So we want Mad Hatter platforms. No, Mad Hatter. Uh, oh, you've got. Yeah, there's a lovely. Uh, all the mods I'm using are in my Steam collection, and there's a link to that collection in the description below. But there's a Mad Hatter's done a whole set of. Ooh. Options based around Scottish 
stations. Well, that looks kind of cool, doesn't it? If I, can I put... There you go. That looks nice, actually, for a local station. And will it connect up to the road? How does that look, actually? Oh, that does look fine. I'm not sure about that. That sign being there, though. No, let's let's move that so it's not actually on the sign. Which one was that? Is it that one? There you go. Go there. That's better. Oh, no, the, the trouble is the signs are showing in black there, which usually means there's some sort of graphical problem, doesn't it? I may have to work that out. Okay, so we want a bit of a road then. Connecting that up. Uh, we'll use this road here still, can I? Okay, we'll delete this bit of road that I so carefully put in. And we'll run you... What the heck are you doing? I don't want you to collide with anything. Okay, will you go from there? Okay, you will connect up that way. That's all right. I think we take you. Which be too much slope. Now go, don't go. That's it. Stay level. That's fine. That looks good. Yeah, and it's got double yellow lines on it, so of course people won't park there. They're not supposed to park there anyway. Let's put it that way. Put you there. And can we go out this way as well? Without. It's a little bit of an incline on that one. That looks good. I like that. Okay. Right, now we need to connect Puckle Church. It'll just be called Puckle Church, I think. Go. Oh, the signs have appeared now. Good, good. I love that little building. That is great. Uh, they yes, they, they, it's, it's an entirely modular set, or it's, it's, it's a set of, of, of simply modules from Mad Hatter. There, uh, there are no stations, complete stations as such. It allows you to create your own from that. So we want tracks. We're not going to be electric, I don't think. No. Oh, we get, what we want to do is connect that into this track here. Oh, I've got a bridge. Oh, how frustrating. Okay, so where can we cut off from here? Can I take you from there? Okay. That looks okay, I think. And likewise, the other side. Good. All right. I think the main problem is this bit of road, isn't it? We need to get rid of that. Oh, it's a separate little segment, is it? Okay. I'll just save myself a tiny, tiny bit of money. Can I do this? A bit like that. And then get rid of these bits on the end. Right, let's see if we can get this track coming out of here then. That's a much better speed. Goodness knows, somehow that road obviously interfered with the speed that I was able to achieve. So if we connect in there, yeah, a few little embankments, a bit of a slow spot in the middle there, but that's fine, I think. Uh, yeah, we've got the parallel tracks thing turned on, so that's fine. Uh, 
we just need to connect this to there, for example, and bring you in. Sweet. And while I'm here, actually, I might as well upgrade that to high speed. Not that you're going to be travelling more than 70 miles an hour, actually, at the platform edge. And we're not going to have this line going up here to warmly. Yes, oh, we are. Because I want to connect warmly into uh, Puckle Church. That's what I want you to do. Right, where's that train going? You're going out there to Hannon. Okay, we'll wait for him to get out of the tunnel. We chivvy him along a little bit. There you go. Good. Right, let's see if we can... Connect from he from here somewhere without going up. I need to stay underground. I think. I don't really want to go. Do we need to go down? Hmm. That's. That's better. That's on the level. If we can't, no, we can't come up. We can stay level till there. Right, and hopefully, we can then connect into here. At for such a curve, that's not a bad speed, actually, is it? I don't think. Although I'm not actually certain which side of the track am I connecting on here. <laughs> so, uh, I wish we had a proper underground, a proper underground mode. Okay, let's cancel that for the moment. Uh, we've got that there. So if we I want you to stay alongside that bit of track I've got. And connect in. No, I'm not at all certain where that's connecting. I think I'm on the lower track there, aren't I? Is there a snapping? Oh, there was there. Except it doesn't want to. Ah, right. I don't. Th are you connected to. Are you snapped to that existing line? I think you are. Does that mean I've got it right? We're not going to be able to tell until we get a train in there, are we? To be honest. And then can we get you to there? We can. Well, that's very respectable speed, actually, considering the, the nature of that curve. I'm more than happy with that. I dare say this will be slightly less speedy. Well, only very slightly. That's impressive. Okay, so the trick will be, can we get trains between those three stations now? Um, one way, yes. Uh, we won't auto signal because I. And that signal shouldn't be there anymore. Hmm. No, that's fine, I think, actually. That's fine. And we'll put a signal here. So that whole area from that switch, that junction there, into the station will be controlled. That's okay. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And we'll have you going in that direction. And that direction. Again, this line here we've got coming in under those houses. 
I think I will remove. Yeah. Well, let's see if we can actually lay a, tr lay a line, shall we? Uh, so we need this. We want a new line. It's going to be coming from Hannum. I'll make it a nice bright colour so I can actually see it. I'll then be going to Puckle Church. Yes. And then to Warmly. It can do it! Oh, yes, I don't, yes, I don't suppose I need... Hmm. Do I want it to go back to Puckle Church? Let's see. Can we do that? We can. Awesome. That's a weird, kind of weird line. I'll give you that. But I think that might work for me. Well, we're going to find out fairly soon, aren't we? So what should we call this one? We'll call it Hannum Puckle Church. Because... Although Warmly is the bigger location, to be honest, it, it goes... Yeah, through Puckle Church. So that's the important thing. Now, what we want to do is call up that line. Now we want the Puckle Church line. We want the French A to Hannum line. And we're going to take all the trains off that. Well, two of them, I think. And put that on that line. Ah, no, 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 we're not. No, because we need the warm to French A to Hannon will actually be French A to Warmly. Yes, yes it will. So you can be to Warmly. Okay. That's better. So let's configure that. No, it's not, I'm not configuring a station, I'm configuring the line. Uh, so you're going to Actually, that works. Yeah. yeah. So we take you off, you off, and you off. So it just goes to those three stations. Yeah, then connects up with the darker blue line, which takes it into... Oh, Avonmouth somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> it takes it somewhere. Uh, yes, that's that's good, I think. Actually, no, it needs to go back to Eastfield, doesn't it? It's after Warmly. That's better. Yes, yeah, that makes sense. Because we've got that, so we could, in fact, take one of these trains. Uh, which one of you has... Oh, you. Where are you? You've got no path. That's fine. So we can send you then on to the Hannum to Puckle Church line. Yay! And where you're going on to Hannum. That's cool. That is excellent. And the great thing is we already have a bus service here on Castle Road. Oh, there are two oh, there are two stops, the Warmly and the Emerson's Green. Do we need the Warmly one no, though now? Possibly not, actually. Although there has been... Well, it's a bus route that's earning money. Goodness me. <laughs> Whatever next. Probably don't need that one then. So I could probably abandon that. Should I abandon that? I probably ought to. Okay. How's... What's going on here? So you are... Oh, you're going... Ah, okay. I think you need to go into a different platform. Hang on, let's uh, sort this line out. So I think Hannum. Yeah, we want the two blue lines. So the the two out of Bristol lines to be on the same platform. So yeah, so we need to move Hannum to Terminal One. Is that? That's it. That's better the busier line which goes directly into Bristol City Centre to Temple Meads needs precedence I think at all times. Oh there are already 13 people waiting. That is excellent. But are they on the right platform? Interesting. Okay we shall find out. 
Right, I think that will do for this episode of Transport Fever 2. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, it'll be great to hear from you. A little bit of a like would be lovely. Even better though, if you've got anything to say, any hints or tips, recommendations, comments, that's the bath service, very old train. <laughs> it'll be great to hear from you. Oh, I've got a red... What's going on here? Train 59. Where are you? Uh, you're in French, eh? That's fine. Do we just need to turn you around? You can go to Eastville. That's fine. Good. You're happy. Yeah, if you've got anything to say, any hints, tips, recommendations, criticisms, anything at all, it'll be great to hear from you. Just drop a note into the comments box below. That would be awesome. Other than that, of course, if you've not already subscribed to the channel, you could do that now. And that way you'll know when I upload another one of these or any of my other Let's Play series. But from me, Ajax Post, here in Transport Fever 2. Until the next time, bye-bye for now.